The Pacific Ocean is boiling, a massive marine heat wave called the Blob has returned, and this time, it's even bigger. Stretching nearly 5,000 miles from Japan to California, it's the most extreme ocean warming event in a century, and it's rewriting our climate. Sea surface temperatures are breaking records. Japan just logged its highest ever, 41.8 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the U.S. West Coast faces disrupted winds, suffocating humidity, and strange winter patterns forming on the horizon. But the greatest damage is hidden below. Marine life is suffocating. The last blob in 2015 killed thousands of seabirds, sea lions, and fish. Some never recovered. Now, in 2025, the same disturbing signs are appearing again. This marine heat wave disrupts the entire food chain. From plankton, the base of ocean life, to whales at the top, everything is at risk. Without food, animals weaken, starve, or vanish completely. And the Pacific doesn't suffer alone. When oceans heat up, global weather shifts. Droughts, floods, hurricanes, even polar storms, all trace back to changes in ocean circulation. The Pacific is the engine of Earth's climate, and now, that engine is overheating. In 2015, the blob lingered for years, leaving scars on the Pacific ecosystem. Today's blob is larger, hotter, and spreading faster. Scientists warn the coming winter will decide whether marine life recovers or collapses. Records show how rapidly oceans are warming. The 2015 blob was historic, but the 2025 blob is already pushing us past those extremes, and every degree higher means less oxygen, fewer fish, and more deaths across the Pacific food chain. This is not a distant warning. From Japan to California, communities will feel the impact. Changing weather, vanishing fisheries, even economic collapse in coastal towns. The blob isn't just back. It's stronger than ever and it's telling us something. The climate crisis is no longer tomorrow, it's happening right now.